JWST has been added again, imaging galaxies near and far, and even a protocluster of galaxies around an incredibly old and distant quasar. Here, let's take a look at some recent JWST images and learn exactly what we're looking at in each one of them. First of all, we've seen a pair of merging galaxies, collectively known as IC1623. One is called IC1623A and the other is IC1623B. In this interaction, the galaxies are very tightly wrapped together, entwined deep in a merger. The event lies around 270 million light years from Earth. And as they plunge themselves together, they're igniting a furious spate of star formation. As the gas and dust contained within each galaxy meets and collides, it's very easy to form new baby stars over 20 times faster than they're forming in the Milky Way, lighting up the merger brightly with the infrared light that JWST is so sensitive to. The merger was imaged by JWST's near-infrared camera NERCAM, its longer wavelength detector MIRI that can see mid-infrared light, and one of its spectrographs called NERSPEC. We can show the difference between the mid-infrared image here and the near-infrared image here. The most detailed and complete view of the galaxy though comes from combining these two wavelength ranges together, giving us this beautiful image. The merger has previously been imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope in visible light. While the Hubble image is absolutely stunning, as we slide into the newer JWST image, we can see new background galaxies pop out of the darkness and new details and structure are resolved in the main merger we're looking at here. Thick dust blocks a lot of the visible light that Hubble looks for, but the infrared light seen by NERCAM and MIRI is much better at probing deep into the merger and piercing through the dust. The bright diffraction spikes we see coming from the center of the JWST image suggest a very bright center to the merger, likely from an active supermassive black hole eating a lot of matter or extremely high energy collisions here. Next up, take a look at this deep field image we've seen from JWST. The telescope was specially designed to see infrared light from the very early universe and to see some of the first galaxies to ever form. Here we have a galaxy cluster called Max 0647 in the center of the image. This cluster is so massive that it bends space-time enough to both warp and magnify the light from even more distant and faint galaxies behind it. These faint spots near the cluster are all galaxies, but they're incredibly faint and could be some of the first to ever form in the universe. Their light is magnified by the cluster, acting like a lens to let us see these faint blobs. The nature of the earliest galaxies isn't well known, so this provides a perfect way to help us study these earliest epochs. Notice there are three boxes in this image, highlighting a galaxy that has been lensed so much that its image appears three times. Each of these is an image of the exact same galaxy, one that is at a redshift of 11, meaning it existed within the first 400 million years after the Big Bang. Let's again compare to an older Hubble image here, and you can just see way more in the JWST image. More galaxies are visible, they're brighter, and we can see much more detail in all of them. This is especially noticeable in the triple image of that same galaxy. In Hubble, it looked like a single galaxy, but in the higher resolution JWST image, it actually looks like two objects. One is slightly redder than the other, and one is slightly bluer. This could be a galaxy merger in the very early universe, which would be very exciting if confirmed. It could just be two clusters of blobs in the same galaxy. It might be two separate galaxies, or it could be a merger. More analysis is needed for us to know for sure. The last thing I want to look at today is a quasar. That's a supermassive black hole consuming so much matter that that matter heats up and glows. A lot. These things can outshine the entire galaxy that they reside within. Around this quasar though, they've discovered a cluster of massive galaxies forming around the black hole. The quasar in question has a telephone number for a name and existed 11.5 billion years ago. Researchers were studying whether the powerful winds coming off of the black hole were pushing gas out of the galaxy and impacting the formation of stars. What they found though was a proto-cluster of galaxies around the quasar. 
That's a galaxy cluster in the very early stages of formation. They could tell its multiple objects by splitting up the light they received using NERSPEC, the onboard spectrograph, and broke down the light into its different colours. This tells us how fast the objects are moving, and we can see at least three distinct orbits around the quasar, telling us that at least three galaxies are in this protocluster. But hints from both Hubble and JWST suggest there might be even more waiting to be confirmed. These protoclusters are hard to explain and even harder to observe. So this is a very exciting result and could teach us about how galaxies and galaxy clusters form. The image you've been looking at is largely an old Hubble shot showing the wider environment that all of this is taking place in. And the zoom in in the boxes is the new JWST data with the material moving at different speeds shown in different colors. This cosmic knot is full of both questions and answers but it's also super pretty to look at. Let me know any questions or comments you have below this video and be sure to subscribe if you're new. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.